Birds of all species need to eat, and many are hunters, so they are often on the lookout for prey so they could eat. Some hunts take more time to complete than others, but all the birds are looking for the same result. And if you want to see birds killing their prey, this is it, so let's get started. Number 15. Merlin Catches Starling when a man spotted what he thought could be a falcon or possibly a merlin trying to kill a starling, he opened the front door thinking it would scare the predator away, but it didn't as the starling's death was inevitable. A man watched a merlin swoop down at full speed to take a starling, immediately plucking his prey. Unfortunately, the mailman interrupted the bird's early Christmas dinner. When a man spotted a merlin attacking a starling, he was sure that the starling was already dead but realized after watching the gruesome scene for a few seconds that he wasn't until the Merlin delivered the final blow. Number 14. Owl Hunts Mouse This northern hawk owl heard the mice under the snow and with silky smooth wings making no sound, it could locate the mouse and dive into the snow to catch it. Attracting owls to one's property can benefit both farmers and homeowners. With over 19 species of owls in the United States, these predators live in a wide range of environments and prey on many animals considered pests by humans. In their search for food, voles, mice, rats, and gophers frequently destroy crops, gardens, and flower beds. You could use a natural approach to rodent and pest control by attracting owls to eliminate these pests with little to no effort on your part. After swooping down to snatch a small mouse through the snow, a great gray owl perches itself on a log and eats the rodent. Owls are natural predators who mostly hunt at night using their keen night vision and stealth. On a typical night, these hunters can consume up to 12 mice. Certain species, such as barn owls, are more sociable and even shelter or hunt in small groups, which means they can rapidly reduce rodent populations in any location they inhabit. A group of owls can eliminate hundreds of mice and other vermin in a single season. Smaller owls will also hunt insects, making these birds a one-stop shop for pest control that is easy to attract. Number 13. Hornbill Attacks Snake Even venomous puff adders are no match for the southern ground hornbill, one of Africa's most distinctive birds. Watch the hornbill's powerful and deadly beak at work in this video. This massive, sociable, ground-loving bird is easily identified. Adult males have a bright red face and throat wattles, whereas adult females have purple-blue skin in the center of the red throat patch. The immature bird is scruffy and has yellowish skin on his face. In flight, this massive bird is black with white wing tips. Foraging for large invertebrates and small vertebrates, family groups walk slowly through bushy savannas and grasslands. These ground hornbills find and kill a snake in Kruger National Park. I love the orange on this bird. It gives it a distinctive look. Hornbills are cunning and aggressive birds. The larger Asian species must be housed in pairs unless a serious breeding program is established. If introduced at a young age, ground hornbills can be kept in family groups. In this duel between a ground hornbill and a snake which sneaked into the hornbill's enclosure, the snake tries to wriggle itself out of a mouth-watering situation but to no avail as the hornbill swallows the snake alive. What could be better than a quick snack slithering in the grass? Well, that's exactly what this ground hornbill is doing after it catches a small snake. Hornbills have been known to attack and eat venomous snakes. It's a good thing these birds have a big bill to use like tongs to keep the venomous snakes away before they chomp on them. Number 12. Seagull Hunt Shark a small shark finds itself way out of the water on dry sand when a seagull pays it a visit and decides to perform a complete physical. It decides the shark is in perfect physical condition to be eaten. The seagulls enjoy eating these small sharks, but bigger sharks are the main predators of seagulls. There are gulls on every continent, and they breed there. Many gull species migrate southward to warmer climates during the colder months. These birds range in size from moderate to huge, and their feathers are often gray, white, or a combination of the two. This baby sand shark finds out what it's like to be attacked and eaten by a seagull on an early morning at the beach. A seagull finds a tiny shark on the beach, and it's not about to let such an occasion pass it by. 
the seagull grabs the shark and dips it into the water a few times before swallowing it whole. Once that's done, it takes off to join a few friends to brag about the matter. Number 11. Stork Attacks Rat White storks are not picky eaters. Small animals, frogs, and huge insects like grasshoppers are their favorite. They also eat reptiles, fish, and the eggs and chicks of ground-nesting birds on occasion. Stork parents mostly feed on their babies earthworms and insect larvae in the first few weeks after birth. In this video, a stork finds a rat close to a forest and doesn't hesitate to grab the rodent. One of Europe's largest birds is the white stork. When looking for food, the white stork walks slowly across meadows and pastures, its neck straight and leaning forward slightly. Its wing beats are slow and regular in flight. Storks, unlike herons, fly with both their neck and legs outstretched. As gliders, they employ thermals to soar high into the sky with their wings held still. Experts know from tracking ring storks that they can live up to 39 years, and I guess eating huge rats like the one in this video helps. Storks have evolved several hunting strategies to find food. They stride out, head and beak pointed downwards, grabbing insects and worms. When hunting mice, the elegant wading birds come to a complete stop before hitting with rapid speed. The stork in this video was at the park when it stopped a small rat running towards the swings and grabbed it. Number 10. Skua Hunts Penguin Skuas are among the most hazardous bird predators in Antarctica. Adult skuas eat penguins, especially their young, but even adults as you see a young penguin being attacked by a skua in our thumbnail. The skua is an aggressive bird that enjoys hunting baby penguins just like the one in our video. The skua nibbles aggressively on the back of this nesting penguin until it raises itself up, allowing the skua to trap the chicks and swallow them whole, which it does. It's a dangerous life for a chick on Antarctic shores. Without their parents' protection, they are vulnerable to attacks from skuas and other predators. The newborns need around-the-clock surveillance, so when the skuas notice a chick that's unprotected, they strike. In this horrible scene, two skuas gang up on a small baby penguin and they both take turns at stabbing and ripping the poor little defenseless bird apart. The great skua is a violent sea pirate, purposefully pestering birds as large as gannets to grab a free meal. It also kills and consumes smaller birds like puffins. Great skuas are not afraid of humans. Anyone approaching the nest will be dive-bombed repeatedly by the irate adult. These birds migrate from their wintering homes off the shores of Spain and Africa to the UK's northernmost isles. They appear stout and dark from a distance with white wing flashes in flight. In this video, a brown skua outmaneuvers an incubating female eastern rockhopper penguin and steals one of its two eggs on New Zealand's sub-Antarctic Campbell Island. The female fought hard, but the skua was relentless and totally focused on his objective. In this horrible scene, a skua is mangling a small baby penguin, stabbing and ripping the poor little defenseless bird apart. The great skua is a violent sea pirate, purposefully pestering birds as large as gannets to grab a free meal. It also kills and consumes smaller birds like puffins. Great skuas are not afraid of humans. Anyone approaching the nest will be dive-bombed repeatedly by the irate adult. These birds migrate from their wintering homes off the shores of Spain and Africa to the UK's northernmost isles. They appear stout and dark from a distance with white wing flashes in flight. Number 9. Roadrunner Hunts Lizard A dad and his daughter started out on a neighborhood bike ride when they saw this roadrunner mangling a small lizard. The six-year-old girl was fascinated by the event as dad made sure she stayed close to him. Roadrunners eat whatever they could find and can be extremely aggressive even though they are not known to attack humans. The Roadrunner is one of the few birds capable of capturing and killing a rattlesnake. The person filming this video was enjoying a day out on the lake watching the wildlife activity when he suddenly spotted a Roadrunner. The Roadrunner was on the hunt and darted in full sprint quickly applying the brakes as it captured and gobbled down a lizard. If a rattlesnake is easy prey for a roadrunner, imagine how easy it is to snatch a small lizard. This roadrunner found a snack and is running around the neighborhood with it in its mouth. The man recording this saw this roadrunner hunting in the wetlands of Tucson, Arizona. It caught a small lizard and ran off with it. Because the man didn't see it eat the lizard, he thinks it might have taken it back to its nest to feed its young. Number 8. Magpie Hunts Rabbit 
A small bunny rabbit is attacked and dragged through the grass by a vicious magpie. The bunny is young and small, but he's tough and aggressive, surprising the nasty magpie at every turn. What looked like an easy lunch turns into a nightmare for the bird. A magpie harasses and bullies a few bunny rabbits barely old enough to know what's going on as they explore their surroundings for the first time. The desire to drive off a competitor for food or to attack a weakened animal seen as potential prey, as in the case of the rabbit, can often explain magpie behavior. However, some of their attacks appear to be motivated by pure evil. Magpies are collectors that have a penchant for everything sparkly. Their reputation as predators stems from the fact that they eat the eggs and chicks of other birds in addition to vegetation. Some people attribute the widespread deaths of songbirds to magpies. On the other hand, and in this video, a magpie can be seen eating a dead rabbit. Number 7. Heron Hunts Gopher In San Francisco's Golden Gate Park, these great blue herons hunt gophers. When they have chicks to feed, they do this primarily in the spring. Take a few minutes to patiently observe a heron standing in the grass if you ever see one. When they finally catch one, it's well worth the wait. They listen and feel for vibrations, then close in on the gopher until they get close enough before going in for the kill. A man living in this area finally figured out why there aren't a lot of gophers close to his apartment complex. The great blue heron lives there and eats them all, just as it's eating the little guy in this video. A heron on an early morning stroll had a lucky encounter with a cute gopher. It was more of a search and retrieve type of encounter as the tall bird pulled the small gopher out of the ground to swallow it whole. Number 6. Seagull Attacks Puffin On Scotland's cliffs, the puffins are rushing to feed up the last of the summer newborns. Hatched underground in a burrow, this chick still relies on its parents to bring them a steady supply of sand eels. Outside, the world is full of danger. The colony is mercilessly targeted by gulls. They're opportunists, always ready to seize an unwary youngster venturing out for the first time. The mother puffin runs the gauntlet as she returns from the sea with a bill full of fish. She's fast and determined, but a gull waits in ambush to mug her, but she outwits the gull this time around. For now, the youngster can feed safely, but soon he'll have to take his chances outside and things could get nasty. A seagull can be seen attacking a puffin. As the small bird tries its best to escape only, it's not easy because the seagull is nasty and strong compared to the puffin. Eventually, the puffin is killed. As pest birds, seagulls are instinctively afraid of hawks and falcons despite being very stubborn and aggressive birds, especially when nesting. Using their natural predators such as hawks and falcons can be one of the most effective seagull control methods. A seagull has killed a puffin in this video and is trying to swallow it whole, but the puffin is pudgy and it's not easy for the gull to follow through. After a little bit of effort and perseverance, the gull manages to swallow the puffin. Number 5. Falcon Hunts Duck and Goose Falcons are known for their ruthless hunting techniques. When pursuing field-feeding waterfowl, falcons frequently crash into their prey. The ground struggle is minimized when the smaller falcon delivers a knockout blow since the duck is heavier and stronger. It exemplifies the falcon's agility and speed, and you can see the falcon dive bombing what looks like a goose in this video and then grabbing it in mid-air. Over the past three years, the man filming this video has had the privilege of working with a master falconer in New Mexico, recording what his birds can do. Filming falconry birds offers shots that would be very difficult to obtain in the wild such as the falcon stooping after prey. The scene in this video, however, was completely in the wild as this male peregrine did not appreciate the man being near the nest when he went in for the kill and was successful. This green-winged teal duck is in big trouble after a falcon has pinned it to the ground on the beach. While the duck tries to free itself, the falcon has already begun eating it. Number 4. Owl Hunts Bat This owl lives alone and sits on a branch during the day and does not move. Small sparrow birds come and pretend to attack as they catch small field mice. The owl doesn't fly well during the day, but when a person approaches, it sometimes flies toward the light. It sounds like a baby crying. 
It's dark and scary, but some people just love adventures and it pays off in this video when the people filming come across an owl killing a bat in a tree. The owl doesn't get spooked because of the light aimed at it and continues to kill its prey. Watch this barn owl swiftly grab a bat out of the air in this video. Once in the owl's grasp, all the bats can do is hope for a quick death, which the owl gives it with pleasure. Owls are common bat predators. There are many owl species, and each specializes in hunting different prey. The most well-known bat predators among them are the great horned owl, tawny owls, and barn owls. Number 3. Eagle Hunts Guinea Foal This martial eagle is pinning down a struggling guinea foal that is trying to survive, and its talons are holding it down until it dies. After killing the bird, it flew away for about an hour, watching his prey, and then as he swooped down, he picked up the guinea foal and flew away to enjoy its bounty. Life is a circle. In this video, a martial eagle is eating a guinea foal it just killed, and if you listen carefully, you can hear another foal hiding under the brush that is shocked by what he is seeing and terrified to come out. The majority of sub-Saharan Africa is home to martial eagles. They prefer habitats such as open woods and woodland edges, wooded savanna, and thornbush. Closed canopy forests and hyper-air deserts are also avoided by these eagles. They have adapted to more open habitats in southern Africa than elsewhere in their range, including semi-desert, open savanna with scattered trees, and wooded hillocks. Ephemeral rivers are used in Namibia's desert areas. Martial eagles appear to prefer desolate or protected environments. In this video, a tawny eagle in Kruger National Park can be seen munching away on a guinea foal kill, while he is observed by a Betalor eagle which surely would like to join him for lunch. Number 2. Crow Attacks Pigeon It was already the second time pigeons had set up their nest near a man's house, and both times, the pigeons were killed by crows. The man filming, who owns the house, tried protecting the pigeons but couldn't. Many animals such as hyenas and wild dogs eat their prey alive, but these crows are no slouches when it comes to doing the same, because they're digging into this pigeon while it's still alive. A few crows harass and prevent a pigeon from taking off as they hop towards the bird and attack it every time it tries to move or fly. Crows are opportunistic hunters that will kill any bird, animal, or insect that is injured and unable to flee or fight back. I've seen them chase and maim an injured squirrel before devouring it. They also prey on young birds which are unable to defend themselves and have been abandoned by their parents. The pigeon in this video is disfigured and barely alive while the crow keeps stabbing it with its deadly beak. It's only a matter of time before the pigeon takes its last breath. Number 1. Hawk Attacks Groundhog A hawk grabs this groundhog and takes off with it before landing again, with its talons clamped on the groundhog's body as it sits on its prey. The groundhog is probably dead, but it's difficult to tell because the hawk is sitting on it. This hawk has caught a groundhog and is sitting on it. He takes off in spurts but doesn't fly, he just bounces the groundhog on the ground. I think the groundhog is dead. A hawk holds a small groundhog in his mouth while standing on a log. When a man approaches, the hawk takes off with the groundhog. I'm always impressed when I see birds of prey swoop down to attack its prey, but the falcon dive bombing is most impressive. Which one was your favorite? Why don't you let us know in the comments below? And well, that's it for now. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a like and let us know in the comments what you think. Check out our other videos and subscribe to be a part of the fun. Click on the notification icon so you can see our new videos as soon as they're uploaded. Thanks for watching and see you next time.